Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only. I gotta tell you, I was out buying today. I went out shopping a little after one o'clock and it's paying off nicely, but I'm gonna go over those stocks I just added as well as some history on corrections, how long they usually last, what we can expect, and just where we're gonna go from here. So stick around. I think you're gonna like what I got for you. If you're new to the channel, I am Stock Moment, an old financial advisor slash broker slash educator. I taught in the classroom for many years. I did high school and college level classes. And now I do YouTube. All I ever ask is hit that subscribe button, bell, notifications, hit all. That way every time I put a video out there, you'll get a notification and check it out and be able to see what's going on. And maybe once in a while there will be a cat that walks around because he's sitting right next to me. I'm sure he'll interrupt here eventually. And of course, I have a link down below to Weeble. Get yourself two free stocks right now. That's one guarantee that you will make money on is that you put 100 bucks in there, you'll get two free stocks. And those two free stocks can be worth up to $1,850. It takes like five minutes to have another account in case some of the other accounts don't have the stocks you're looking for. They have Bitcoin, Ethereum, some good stuff. I also have a link down below to my Patreon. I'm gonna be starting a brand new SPAC portfolio in the first week of March. So next week, it's gonna be awesome. I have seven different portfolios over there now. This will be my eighth, and I wanna see how they do, which ones outperform. This is kind of a, a teaching lesson for myself just to see which ones are gonna give me the best performance. So if you'd like to be a part of that, we have a private Discord with thousands of members. We talk stocks all day and night. You can come over and check that out. Let's go ahead and get into it today. It is rough. I know it started out a little bit green. I actually opened my phone up. I was like, hey, it's green a little bit. By the end of the day, again, this volatility is crazy, and that's always a sign when you're going through a correction, high volatility, and you're seeing the volatility. And some people ask me, what do you mean by volatility? If you see the high and a low in the market of over 1%, that's really volatile. So if the, the high of the day and the low of the day is more than 1% apart, that's big and that's pretty volatile. We're seeing a lot of that all the time. Eventually on the next bull run, you'll get to the point you don't see that. And it's always real small, it's just minor moves up and down and you'll see a nice little run. But right now we're not in it. And you're seeing a lot of sell offs out there. And we can take a look at the YouTube portfolio. As you see it, we are down a massive $6,300. I'm hoping this week's stock will put us, uh, at least give us one green one. Uh, I am, I'm, I'm straight up. I show you what I got here. I'm not hiding anything. If you wanna see all my portfolios, all the stocks over there, you can come over and check out the Patreon. Like I said, I, I show them all over there to let you see what's going on. And uh, we got these and you can see how how they are. The best performing stock right now is CCIV and it's at 29.50. Remember this one we got in at 32. In my personal portfolios, we did get in. I brought that up on the 14th and it was around $17 in the teens. And so I know a lot of the people who followed that it was around the teens. So that's still looking good over there, but for the, this one is down. I do see it being up within a few weeks. This thing was already almost at 32 today. We're gonna to talk about that in a little bit. The penny stock portfolio still hanging tough, still doing what it's doing. We had a, oh, we got a visitor. We had the VIRX and that is SNSS. Had, had a merger, I had a lot of people ask me about that. So it switched tickers to VIRX and they had a 3.5 to one share uh, reverse split. So now we have to sit back, let, this, let the brokers do their thing and we'll see what's going on with uh, the price and all that good stuff. So I just canceled it out. Uh, because I was in a hurry to do my video and I didn't feel like doing the math right now. So let's call it me being a little bit uh, lazy and let them do the calculations. It doesn't change because I'm gonna be holding it anyways. So right now with that not in there, we are up about 12,901. Obviously took a big hit today with everything else and you're seeing that drop. But you know, remember, this is only what? A little over a month old and we're still up five digits, that's huge. That's a huge amount of money. So I have no problem with this, I'm okay. And of course, even with this, take those two together, we're still up six grand plus. We have a lot of other portfolios out there doing well. We will see what's going on, but right now this is definitely into the correction I've been talking about. We're Let's go ahead and take a look at the NASDAQ today. You can see where we're at. It's starting to, you just don't know because you can see this little comeback here and then it dropped, a little comeback there, kind of dropped, a little comeback. So we don't know if this, this rally we're seeing in the late afternoon is gonna continue. I'm hoping it is, but there's a lot to this. If you actually look at the month, we are, our top was 14,095. I did some math for us. At the low today, we were down at this point, 
we are ended up being down 6.5% in the NASDAQ from the high. Now, a lot of people who've been following this channel, I've been saying this, expect a five to 10% correction. Right now we're at 6.5%. If you look at that low, it's not 10% yet. I didn't think it would go much more than 10%. I did think we would test it and we're there. We're starting to test it. We're 6.5, we are below the five. I think we will get down to the 10% personally. And I know that's not good news, but I am buying through it just because you don't know. You don't know if you will get down to the 10%. If we don't get down to the 10%, that's fine. I've been buying through this. I just added again here a little after one o'clock. I added four more positions, which I'm gonna share with you here shortly. But for those who have been doing this with me, dollar cost averaging into positions throughout the year, you will see this. I started my first portfolios back in October 1st, and you can see that was all the way back then, and they're doing great, and they're continuing to ride. This is just a correction. And to me, this is something we're gonna have to go through and set up for the next big bull run. And this is not a collapse of the entire financial system, just a correction. How many corrections have we had, Mo? Talk to me, what is a correction? This is my old teacher's hat here. From 1980 all the way up to 2018. That is 38 years. We've had 37 corrections of 10% or more. So this almost happens on an annual basis. This is, in my opinion, this year's annual basis. So I, I am expecting that, and that's the S&P 500 I'm talking about. I expect the S&P 500 to have at least around a 10% correction, and we'll see. And I thought five to 10%, we'll see. And they average 15.6%. I don't think this one will get down that low because we have the stimulus, we have the easy money in the Fed, and, and we have everybody with pent up demand that are gonna be out in the next two or three months. But notice that's two or three months from now. And that's why I said the first quarter into the beginning of the second quarter, I expected a five to 10% correction. That was just based on all my experience through the years, and we are seeing it. And I try, to, I try to be upfront about that. So how, how can you protect yourself? I have a lot of questions on that. You can do stop losses. Now I don't do the stop losses, but you can do a stop loss. If you think this market's gonna continue down, set a little stop loss. You can also just buy through it like I'm doing. I am buying a little bit on all the red days. I don't go all in, I don't buy a ton of stock, but I do take advantage, cherry pick what I think's good. And that leads me into what this next one is. I bought Churchill Capital today. And for those following the channel, remember, I bought into this and I brought it up on January 14th, so my price point was in the teens. I actually priced up by buying today. And so I added more and uh, I'm happy with it because I got in at 28.17. That was my price today. So we are, I'm up uh, almost a buck, a little up 80 cents now, 70 something cents. So I don't expect it to go much lower than right here. This is at 26, 20, 26.83. Once it hit that, you've seen a nice little rally up, but the thing that really intrigued me, $32 at one point today. This is a huge spread. I think it's easily gonna get back there. I think once the market turns green, this stock's gonna rally. That's my opinion, we'll see. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna lose, but remember, I have normal positions. This is obviously one of my bigger ones. Now that I even added more to it, but I am catching up to it because I added more Tesla as well. So I added more Tesla in here, I added more CCIV in there, and I do think they're gonna do well. I added more NEO today in there. Now NEO, they're coming out with earnings day, March 1st. That's Monday after the bell, after the closing bell. So I'm kind of setting up for that, but I'm in it for the long term. There's no day trading. I just added more. I, I liked it. I thought the price being back in the 40s, when if you look at this, I think that price is gonna get back above 62 very quickly. And of course, it could take until the end of this, it could take the end of the correction, because this thing could correct, uh, it could correct another uh, three to five percent within a week or two, and I wouldn't be surprised. Unlike how long corrections usually last, they usually last four months on average. I don't see this being a four month thing. I thought it would be more of a month or two, and then a quick rally without ever, anybody even knowing what was gonna happen. Just one day you're gonna wake up, it might even be red, and all of a sudden it goes up three, four uh, percent. And I'm not gonna be surprised to see that, because once the rallies start, the shorts get squeezed, they add to it, and it's just gas on the fire where that, that, that correction begins, or not the correction, it ends, and then you have the bull run that begins. And that's what I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on the right side of that one. And one of my favorite picks today, I bought Switchback. Uh, the merger did go through for anybody who did not know. The merger went through today, and you can see that. I'm sure it bounced right here when it was announced. 
and it got all the way up to 38. Keep that in mind, $38 a share on the good announcement. The value's there. So I watched that and I saw it come back down as the market crashed. And then I saw this and I thought, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that and I'm gonna buy in. So I did. And I bought in another full position on all four stocks I brought about, talked about today. So there are very large positions in my portfolios. I'm setting up for a more long-term risk in being in the EV and the EV charging industries. In banking stocks, I think they have a lot of value right now. I think Citigroup and Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, great stocks. They are some of the ones I would, I would say to go out there and consider looking into. I also recommend that you go out there and take a look at your portfolios. Make sure they're diversified. Take advantage of some of these sale prices. If you're all in EVs, that's very high risk. Now, most of my portfolio, I should say, is diversified, but I have a big chunk in the EV industry and the clean energy and the financials. So I do take my chances, but that's something I am aware of. I've been in this business for a long time, and I think they're gonna do well over the long run, over the next year or two. So I am con I'm confident in that, and that's why I put my money in there. It's already, you can already see some of this is gonna happen. Once the market turns green, you can already see that uh, SBE and these kind of companies are gonna outperform the market. Just by the recovery now, you're down there, and you can see this jumping up like that. That is big, and so I think when you see this recover three three percent from it, three to four percent from its bottom, but the market was only up like a half a percent, that tells you how much of a gain you're going to get on this once the market starts to recover. Now, with that being said, when the market's going back down like we're watching here, this should not do very well. Like I said, they usually do a lot worse than the market and on good days they do a lot better. So that's where I'm at. These are the stocks I got for you. It's been a rough day, but we'll get through it. And we will see green days down the road. Remember, and all these corrections, all 37 of them that I mentioned before this one, that we always ended up on new highs eventually. And we will again. And with all the stimulus coming out, $1.9 trillion of stimulus, everybody's pent up demand. I think we have record savings right now. Debts are being paid off. You're gonna see some big time spending come this spring into summer. And this stock market's gonna reward everyone who invested. Now that's just my opinion. That's how I'm investing through it. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen. You always gotta do your own due diligence, but that's how I'm playing it. I, I Like I always say, go ahead and take, get those free stocks from Weeble right now. It's a good way to start out this, this trend. And then of course, come over and check us out at the Patreon. We have a lot of good things there. I appreciate everybody's time. Let's get out there and make some money. Thank you.